Douglas. It's a goal. It's down to the left. It won't be a goal. And it's not sure by wanting it. Hey, this is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I don't know if you could hear that in the background, but that's Radio Australia coming through on my Fifi SDR. And I'm using the Genus Radio software to control it. Right now, I'm using my MFJ vertical, 31 foot vertical antenna. And it's about 6.45 in the morning here in Florida, Eastern Daylight Time. And earlier I was struggling with a couple of things as far as recording a show. Uh, one is when I'm doing something on the screen, I typically use a screen capture program. And this is an old, old screen capture program uh, called Cam Studio. And it's limited in that it uh, uses memory to record the video and audio. And therefore, it's limited by the amount of video it can address, which is typically about 1.2 to 1.5 gigabytes. So I have to be careful that I don't jabber on too long when recording using this software because it'll crash and I'll lose everything. I have to do the whole show over again. And that's happened too many times. So I tried using my webcam pointing to my computer screen, but the computer screen was not bright enough. Or maybe I didn't have the adjustments right. So I'll play with that some more. Definitely the webcam doesn't do as good as the uh, capture software does. Now, the other problem I have with Cam Studio is um, because it's using up memory and uh, quite a bit of CPU power, the program or programs that I have running that I'm trying to capture could fight for the CPU and memory, and that could cause another crash. And like, for instance, right now at this moment, it probably won't show up on your screen. But down here, it's showing you what this uh, program is utilizing as far as the CPU power. And it's using about 40 to 50%. Now, I'm running another program, which I can minimize this and show you. There's another program. Small, it's a real small program. And it's telling me CPU usage overall. And you can see it's jumping up to as high as 65%. And you can see the RAM usage is up to 45%. So that's one of the things I'm struggling with. Okay, so much for wasting three minutes of my time that I have for capturing the screen. Um, I've been tweaking this Genesis software. As I showed you before, we come up here to set up. There's all kinds of options you can change. You can change the way the display is set up. You can change the scales, which I did because um, my noise level was high enough that it was filling the screen. So I had to change the scale to bring that uh, minimum noise down some so that I could get uh, the stronger stations on the graph here. Also, I changed the colors to make it more pleasing for me. Uh, let me just cancel this so you can see the colors again. Um, before the default setup, this was heavy, heavy orange. And uh, so I adjusted the uh, min and max values. That helps on. I changed the color to, for the mid-range, I changed it to yellow. For the high-end stuff, it's red, which you typically won't see too much unless I'm on like a local FM station. Again, I'll play with that some more. I also changed the grid here to white, so it shows up a lot better, similar to an oscilloscope. And I changed this main uh, grid marker where the radio is tuned to. I changed it to bright green, so that would show up a little better. 
Um, I, I struggled with setting the frequency using the scroll wheel up here. And it turns out you can't change every um, digital value. No, I can't. Right now, I can't change the nines. Uh, I mean, uh, the megahertz digit. I don't think I can change the 10 megahertz and so on down until I get down here. And I think that is adjusted or controlled by this VFO tune steps. I'm not sure it didn't seem to react the way I wanted to, so I got to do some more playing around there. Um, I did learn how to use the memories, which down in here, and I've got three or four memory set, like this one is Radio Australia, which you're hearing right, you heard before. And then just you know, move the cursor over there and then use a scroll wheel to pick a frequency. I've just put a couple of them in. Like I put in uh, WWV on 5, 10, and 15 megahertz. And then once you got one that you want, you just click on it and boom, it turn, tunes the radio to that. And you get uh, 99 memories. So that's pretty nice. Uh, we can see something over here. Just above 5 megahertz coming in. Let's turn the volume up here for a second. So WWV is coming in fairly strong. Uh, not nearly as strong as it was yesterday about this time. I, uh, I Minimize this again. Here's my uh, little guide for the solar data. And yesterday, in the, in the two days before that, the solar flux index was at or near 100. Now it's dropped down to 89, not as good. So you can see, or I've seen, this is definitely a pretty good indication of shortwave reception. It's not absolute, sometimes it's misleading, but it's an indication. So, still pretty good today, just not quite as good. I wonder what, this is probably, you can see it's pretty strong. That's probably a local Spanish station. Yeah, I think that's Spanish. We can come back down here to the, oh, I don't watch my, I'm watching my time here. Shut up. How rude, he was talking over me. Um, I'm watching my watch here. I'm up to eight minutes, so I got to be careful. I don't want to go over ten. So uh, we can go up to um, check another memory. Let's go up to ten megahertz. And lot, look at look at all the extra noise I picked up. See the noise level now has dropped up, jumped up to uh, almost twice what it was at five megahertz. Let's try 15 for the heck of it. That's a little quieter. I don't think I can hear WWV. Now, usually I hear that in the afternoons at 15 megahertz. And then I've got a couple other frequencies. Here's the one I had before was Radio Australia. Put the volume back up. There it is over here. Pretty good. Now I say the other thing is um, this program, Genesis, and my screen capture program are fighting over resources. So when I'm running that screen capture program, every once in a while I'll hear a dropout on the radio. And that's because it didn't have enough CPU cycles to keep up. Um, what else can I tell you about? This down here in this box here, this is actually if you have a radio that also transmits connected to this program. This is setting up your mind game um, and various other outputs related to transmitting. You can transmit with this software if you have a receiver connected to it that um, has transmit capability. Okay, I'm up to 10 minutes, so I'm going to call this uh, quits.
And uh, if you enjoyed this show, and if you would like me to continue reviewing this Genesis software and this SDI, SDR using other software, just let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.